Hello, hello. Welcome to episode 6. Before we get into the main purpose of today's video, which is building a mob grinder, we have a few quest rewards to accept from Mystical Agriculture, because between episodes, I did make a few of the seeds to help out with resource gathering, so I'll insert some short clips here. So let's have a little look at our prizes for getting these done. So for the stone seeds, we get given an unattuned augment. Okay. And I did make some Prudentium farmlands. That's just experience. Awesome. Okay, so these are all experience. Um, what else did we have? We have the iron seeds. And tertium essence, not the worst thing to get. Uh, those I got as a reward for something else. I did not make those. Fluix seeds. I've not used that stuff before, so we'll have to have a look at that later on. And the gold seeds. Oh, I accidentally received the gold seeds, so that's what I got the fluorite seeds from. And where Oh, the fluid seeds aren't on there as a reward. No worries. So for the diamond seeds, we get a strength three augment. That's very handy to have. And now for the mob grinder part of the video. So I've spent some time in a creative world building a grinder from the mob grinder utils uh, mod. A to make sure that I could build it correctly and that it works and B to make sure that it fitted where I wanted it. So I have a chunk outlined here and the grinder is going to be tucked away sort of a little bit hidden down here. We're going to dig this out and pop it down here and I have this chunk outlined because I'm going to put a building over the top of it that will house an enchanting library and sort of um, a, a portal room, if you will. So to do that, we're going to need some obsidian, which is one of the few things that I don't have for making everything I need. So let's get these guys. Fed. I did move them because I I couldn't cope with them by the house. They were annoying me whilst I was editing the last video. All I could hear was snippets of the cows and it was incredibly annoying. So actually, I think before we go into a cave and potentially burn to death, because we're going to go down there for lava and obsidian, or we could die from being mobbed, it's a very fair chance. I'm going to make the XP drain tank from the same mod. So this XP drain singularity tank. Store all of my levels just on the off chance because we're going to need some XP buckets to make the mob farm anyway. So it's probably not a bad call to make one of these. What are we going to need? 
So one of those, and then I also need Eyes of Ender, a hopper, and iron bars. Right. There's our hopper. We can make some eyes. And we can make some bars. Now I'm going to turn all of that blaze powder into... Mm, actually, no. I'll keep one just on the off chance. I think I only need four to complete the build anyway. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but it'll be tough luck if I am. Uh, let's just pop you there. Is this... or not? That was a bad choice. <laughs> what am I doing? Plug, plug, plug! This just looks like I'm peeing into the tank. <laughs> We're not going to fit all of our levels in here. I didn't realize how many buckets it would take for one level at this point. Well, it looks like we get to keep 51 levels because that's full. Okay. Wow. Did not expect that. All right. Let's go down into the cave. Ah, I already have everything ready in my backpack. Look at me. I'm being organized. And buckets. I want four buckets of lava. And I want a bucket of water to take down with me. And a jetpack, just in case. All of these spawners really concern me. <laughs> I didn't bring any... Um... Oh, dear. Oh, see, I'm doing it already. <sighs> Let's turn that jetpack off. That jetpack's going to kill me. Okay, we've got our four buckets of lava. Let's tuck those away. <laughs> Oh my days. Really, I'm going to kill myself with that stuff. No! Why am I hitting the wrong buttons today? What is wrong with me? <gasps> no! My days! Seriously, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm gonna grab this obsidian here instead. <sighs> That'll do. Okay, no. What is wrong with Dinky? Seriously. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, yes. Let's utilize all of this stuff to start making what we need. Um, I am going to make a jumbo tank for storing any experience that it gets. We're going to need four singularity tanks. We need one more singularity tank, one more feather. <laughs> okay, well, I do have a chicken ready to feed this too. So, should we hope that it gives us feathers? So, here's one I made earlier. Let's... Oh, we still have that on. I think we just... Oh, thank you for the feathers. You are just what the doctor ordered. Thank you very much. Okay then, whilst that glass is smelting down, we're going to start working on... This 
area. We're going to flatten this out into the gradient that I want it to be in. And then I'm going to get to work on digging out where the mob grind is going to go. So I'll cut most of it out, but you'll see some bits and bobs as I go. So essentially, this is going to be the gap that we're building it in. Now, I'm following a design that I found on a Chosen Architect video. So I will link that one down below. He's also playing through the All The Mods 9 mod pack right now. So I'll get it built and then I'll come back to you guys because I'm going to go into silent mode again. It happens every time I'm trying to concentrate on a build and I'm probably going to follow along with his video as well just to make sure I don't mess anything up. So I will come back to you once it is almost done. Okay, so we're almost done. Just going to put it on. I need to put some width upgrades into this one. And that'll push the mobs that way. Oops. And then this one sits here with. this one and you need this one so that should push them into there that should push them into there awesome let's hide those areas i won't turn them on just yet because we need to put our dreadful dirt down and I currently have an iron block up there. That's where a redstone lamp is going to live. Now, this doesn't look pretty, but it's going to be functional. We're going to have to put a... I'm probably thinking about putting a diamond storage barrel here. Maybe a chest. Not sure which one yet. Um, from the sophisticated storage mod. That doesn't want to work. Why are you not working? Ah, you don't have redstone underneath you. That's why you're not working. Boom. There we go. I can't really reach it from here. Yes. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to sort out some noise levels on this, that's for sure. Okay, <laughs> how do we uh, m muffle these sounds? <laughs> let's, for now, until I work it out, let's just turn uh, hostile creatures onto 50%. There we go. And I believe, is it just as simple as, yes, surrounding it. That's awesome. Let's go for diamond for now. Hi guys. Uh, up there. Cracky. I'm just gonna turn this right down for now. Okay, so this needs to go west for fluids and then down for items. There we go. Ah, look at all of that. That's amazing. So we've got the ender pearls that we're going to need. What else? Fine silk. What the heck do we use that for? so much slime oh yes and we're getting inferior essence as well yes another way to gather that that's going to be amazing great ah. well i'm happy that's working 
Let's get this put into place. I did tuck it under here. Somewhere. then when we don't need it to be on we can just turn it off perfect okay let's leave it off for now and go sleep <laughs> so now that we have the mob spawn set up i'm going to place in where yes i do want it to line up where the portal's going to go so it's going to line up with the door so these two here need to come out oh that was calculated let's just say that was calculated next episode we're going in but in between i'm going to set up an enchanting setup down here once i have my enchanting table done and the cows a little bit more bred up and the idea will be to start completing some more of the, the beginning so if we're lucky, we'll find some netherite tools slash armor slash netherite or maybe a netherite template. What's this? To the nether. 50% done. Oh, enter the nether. Okay. But uh, here's to hoping we can complete some of these. Yeah. Thank you for sticking with me on this one, guys. I know it's another slightly shorter one again. Again, I don't mind. But yeah, thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll catch you in episode 7, where we're going to go and investigate the nether. Bye-bye!